Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I was looking through my single player world and I happened upon this contraption here, little red, redstone contraption, and I was thinking about it and I realized that this thing is like six months old and I haven't done anything with it. And I also realized that I'm probably not going to do anything with it. So I have decided to release it to the public. Let me show you what it does though. If you look at the mine carts here, there's two mine carts. Consider this one like the X coordinate and then this one like the Y coordinate. Now when I jump here, I trigger a pressure plate and where the X coordinate and the Y coordinate meet, if you look down below, uh, the landscape actually raises up. So here, watch the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. They're kind of both off towards that corner and the landscape raises up. So the player who is up here can control the landscape by jumping. And it was going to be a co-op minigame where one player uh, you know, jumps from up here and controls the landscape and then the other player is down here, enters through this door and has gear, swords, armor, whatever, and has to fight in on this landscape. And you know, there would be some dispensers dispensing mobs and maybe some bonus items and stuff, and you would have to do various things while the landscape is being raised up in order to, uh, in order to, you know, win the game. Get up, basically get up out out the top of the arena. It's going to call it Battlescape, and yeah, it was going to be sort of one player controls the landscape and the other player fights on it. But like I said, I I just don't think that I am going to make it happen. So. I'm going to release it and I want to see if you guys can do anything interesting with it. I think it's definitely got a lot of potential and it is quite fun to just like be running around on this generated, artificially generated landscape down here. I can get kind of loud with all the piss and stuff going on and actually the frame rate can drop pretty low even even on my, uh, my new laptop which generally gets a couple hundred frames per second I'm, I get down to like 40 frames per second down there. So that's one of the main reasons I actually decided to discontinue my efforts on on this one, but I do think there's still a lot of potential there, and it's kind of a neat concept where there's there are some cobblestone generators that fill in the ground, and then when you jump, some pistons push up the particular area that need to be pushed up and actually raise the landscape. I'll uh, I'll hop out and show you some of the redstone. Of course, the two minecarts run over some detector rails, and those detector rails bring some signals down below, down here. You'll notice basically one of these repeaters is on at any given time, and it sort of moves back and forth, and that mirrors the minecart. And then similarly in this in this uh, this row, you have one of the repeaters off at any given point in time, and so wherever those two intersect, there's some fancy AND gate circuitry in here. It's actually pretty hard to get right, but uh, that determines which set of pistons should come up and raise the landscape. So that's how the landscape gets raised, and then there's some uh, there's some pistons that actually fill in the landscapes. It's actually kind of neat if you come down here and start punching the landscape, <laughs> like can't damage. It's like self-regenerating landscape because uh, of that because of those cobblestone generators, which I think is just looks really cool. In fact, you can even if I grab some TNT. Uh, you can even drop TNT down here. It's not going to damage any of the pistons if you just use one at a time. And and uh, I think it didn't damage any pistons, right? <laughs> oh, I hope not. Yeah, <laughs> and then it then it fills it right back in. I'm actually a little bit nervous now. I think I saw pistons everywhere. Anyway, um, pretty cool. And it just like that self-regenerating thing. So. These cobblestone generators down here are what actually fills it back in and fills fills in that sheet of uh, cobblestone. So there's one on each side. There's a cobblestone, cobblestone generator over here. There's a clock down here that controls it. Uh, and you might have to turn this on in the version if you download it. And similarly over here, uh, there's an, another clock that controls this cobblestone generator. And it has to be clock-based because you never know uh, when you're going to need to actually start pushing again. And it's, it's, all in all, I think it's a very neat concept for a way to create an, an interesting sort of landscape. And I, I, I'm pretty happy with how 
everything here turned out, I just uh, I'm just not gonna continue actually making the full mini game. So that's just how it is, and hopefully you download it and find it interesting and build something cool out of it. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.